bantamweight matchup between Misha Tate and Marion Renault. One of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jiu-jitsu. I don't want to kickbox and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Well, if she is not the best ground and pound fighter in the women's game today, give me another name, right? Because she has taken it to the next level. And more often than not, when she gets you down and starts throwing punches, referee's coming in shortly thereafter. The referee jumping in to save her opponents has almost become yeah, um, synonymous with yeah, her fights. It's the way that her fights end. She's beating him so badly that the ref has to jump in and save him. We have not seen anyone so good at ground and pound since Tatiana Suarez first entered the UFC, and she has taken that to a whole nother level. Her ability to just control posture, control range, and land from anywhere from the top position is truly inspiring to watch. And not unlike you, she's got a mean streak. She told us in the oh. fighter meeting on Thursday, I'm about to give her some scars for life. So free <laughs> souvenirs coming on the ground if we get there tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of nine wins, six losses, and one draw. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Visalia, California, Marion, the Belizean Bruiser. No. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a grappler holding a professional record of 18 wins, seven losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? All right, round one is underway. Curious to get your expectations for this matchup between a true grappler and a fighter on the other side that has every tool in the box. She has every tool. She's one of the most well-rounded fighters in the entire UFC. She understands that her opponent will try to get her to the ground, but she's so well-versed in all of MMA that she feels that it'll lead her to victory. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down from the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Great punch. One-two punch by Renault. And just misses with that big right hand. Renault gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her attention. Well, she talked a lot about the a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Nice leg kick land. Oh, quick position. Watch the knees and these elbows come now. Nice kick there by Tate. Well, she's showing you her full striking development here as she goes to that left hand. She's showing that she can do everything tonight the outcome. Oh, good series of punches by her there. She's in her zone. She's flowing right now. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown game? 
Oh, look at her crack with that uppercut. She's got a great jab, some nice hooks, but she likes that uppercut tonight. And that's why it's so effective, John. As you said, it comes off the hook. It comes off the jab. So when you expect a right hand off a jab, nope, she's throwing uppercut. When you expect a straight right off a hook, nope, she's throwing uppercut. So as you try to avoid that straight punch, the one is coming right up the middle. What a performance by this young lady. Renault gets in the clinch yet again. She slips that left hand there. Real nice body kick land. Some nice back and forth action here. Renault's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, she hasn't gotten the finish yet, but it's not for a lack of effort. Several huge uppercuts have landed, and prevailing wisdom is she goes right back to it here, I think. She has to go back to that. Why would she not go back to it? You don't fix something that's working. It ain't broken. Don't try to fix it. She's a master of landing uppercuts. Oh, that kick is good by Tate. Big hit kick! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Oh, how did she get that knee to the head? Well done. This fight down. Oh, and with urgency, she is back up again. Beautiful body kick. Straight right hand, but she misses. Tate's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, she has really come out guns blazing here to start. Over. You get up, you go down as another takedown hit plan. Both fighters get up now. Takedown attempt plate, and it's good. That is how you scramble, folks. Big power shot there. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. Close round. A takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her, and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest levels. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. All right, so she was able to take her opponent down really at will in the previous round. We'll see if her opponent has made the proper adjustments here. It's going to be very difficult because the way that she attacks is so diverse. She's never just doing one thing and giving a pattern. Right. It's always like, it's like algebra, right? Her opponent's doing basic mathematics, but she's doing algebra. She's giving her so much information that she gets lost. And when her opponent gets lost, she's able to secure top position and really, really start to get damaged off. I get anxiety just hearing the word algebra. You do well in that? No, John, no, I did horrible. I thought that I could use my graphic calculator to get the answer. Visibly limping here. to the feet now. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Renault gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. Chief. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage? Renault gets the takedown. Able to land the 
single ground strike there. Tate's submission game is underrated. She goes for the triangle here. Oh, wow. Side control now. Maybe some of those knee strikes to the body. A lot of different things available to her. Renault's going for the sub here. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. so fluidly and so easily, it, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Leg kick. Reno gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC. Finding the range with relative ease here. Today. She's doing a great job with timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. And she lands another punch there. And this was not a pre-existing cut that she came into the fight with. She caused it, and now she's targeting She it. caused it, and that is her hand. What a strike by her there. separate. Renault gets caught with that punch. All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power. What a big time takedown. Oh, and she's back up again. Powerful leg kick lands. Renault gets in the clinch yet again. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in the fight. Takedown defense holds up. Left hand punch in the clinch. Wild swing there. Let's go, let's go. Huge knee lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. That was a nice strike. Closing the distance here. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, beautiful kick by her there. She just gets that foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. She does not give her opponent any idea that that kick is coming. Tries to work it into a takedown. strike that. She has mixed up her target well, and after a while, you go up to the head and hope it ends the night. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? Here we go. Now five minutes remain in the fight. Nice punch by Tate. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. And there comes the separation now. Oh, she blocks the punch. Well, she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday the double leg would be there. It was certainly there in that instance. Renault's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, oh we're getting a finish 
here. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She oh! can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to change the finish. Well, that is a really significant cut she's dealing with, but a nice job to raise the guard and block that. Very, very strong defense. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate. And ultimately, it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at 1 minute, 25 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by Nathan Misha Cuphead.